Okay, let's look into this uh, example. New York City Council has 516. Find out the standard divisor and the standard quota based on the population for the five boroughs given as below. So this is five boroughs population, as you clearly see down here. So that's a five boroughs population, Manhattan, Queens, Bronx. So these are basically different boroughs. And this is their total, actually. Manhattan total is 1,628,000. And Queens, as you see, is listed down here. Now, the total is, if you add all of them, it's going to give you the total. So if you use a calculator, don't use the comma. You just, you know, use the number and add, and it's going to give you the total. Well, why we need total? So let's take a look here. What is the question is asking? Question is asking about the standard divisor. So what is standard divisor? Standard divisor is basically total population. Standard divisor is basically total population over number of seats so we need a total population so that's why we need a total here if we go down here and we need to have a total so if you are all of this without a comma in the calculator or manually doesn't matter we should get 8,334,000 so that is the total is going to come to play okay now if we look into the standard divisor. So let's take a look here. We can find out the standard divisor. So standard divisor is basically total population. So we know the total population which is 8,334,000 over number of seats. So in this case number of seat is 51. So if this 51 is going to come down here. Okay. So that's a 51. Now if I put down in the calculator again, please I did it ahead of time so that gives me 163,411.66 and of course let me show you here with the calculator quickly now you can put down calculator down here so 8334000 divided by 51 again please do not put comma so as you see so many numbers so i round things up because this digit is four so hundred place usually standard divisor is a hundred place okay so i can make it approximate why i have to make it approximate because i just round things up you see i round it up so that is going to be standard divisor that is how we find the standard divisor now what is the next question? What is the next thing question ask you? So we just found the standard divisor. Now next thing is standard quota. So what is standard quota? Standard quota is basically standard quota is basically each population for each group over the standard divisor. We already found the standard divisor. Look at this here. That is the standard divisor. So we're gonna plug it in and each group so remember each group so we're going to actually work it out actually let's see if we can figure it out here so now we're going to find the standard quotas here we found the standard divisor down here the standard divisor is done and now standard quotas for each borrow okay so what is the fair share for each borrow so let's take a look here manhattan we are going to divide this one <clears throat> we're going to divide this one which is 100 sorry 1 million 620,000 by what by the standard divisor by this divisor so that is going to give you the 9.96 so let me actually show one only here also so if I work it out here one six two eight zero 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 please don't put, do not put comma some student put comma you cannot do that divided by this one of that one doesn't matter you know divided by one six three four one one point seven six enter nine four nine six round the round up to the hundred place nine four nine six okay so i did ahead of time actually for the next one also so that would give me that would give me 
13.79 and that polling one is going to give me 15.66 again I did it ahead of time you can check out with the calculator okay and next one 1 million four hundred eighteen thousand divided by 163,411.76 is giving me 8.68 and this one giving me 2.91 and clearly, as you see, these are called standard quota. I don't think so. Okay, so that's how you find the standard quota. And of course, if you add this up, it, it should be 51 here. If you add all this, it's going to be 51. Okay, now look at this here again. So, how do you find the standard divisor? The total population divided by number of seats again i want to actually make sure make some correct you know make some note here some students think oh one two three four five borrow therefore we're going to divide by five here no we are not dividing by five we are dividing by number of seats number of share we are looking for we are not looking for five share we are not looking for five seat we are looking for 51 seats so that's how we know that is going to come down here okay thank you